everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video today i'm going to be showing all of my product empties i've been storing them over the past month or so in this bag christmas is around the corner and i'm always looking for stocking stuffers or gift ideas and these product empties are great because i'll show you some of the stuff that i've used that i loved and maybe didn't like and i think most of these, you know, could possibly be a gift for somebody. You could put it in a stocking just to give you ideas. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And before we get started, just hit that subscribe button. That really helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate all of your support and all of those who watch my videos and have followed along. It means so much. So let's just get into it. Okay, the first one in my little bag of goodies is this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. This is the total dupe for this the San De Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. The scent, I also bought the, bought the whipped body butter, but that has lasted me much longer than the scrub. I think this is $12. Unfortunately, if you're in Canada, you can't get this here. I got this at Ulta uh, when I was in the States, but I love this stuff. And this with the body butter and maybe the shave oil is actually a really nice stocking stuffer. I would love that. Um, yeah, it smells so yummy. I just wish they came in bigger tubs. Next, I have the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is definitely a luxury purchase. It is, I used every last drop. This retails for, I want to say about a hundred bucks in Canada. It is lovely. You get this beautiful gold spatula to, you know, take out the cream and put on your face so your fingers aren't in there. It's very luxurious and this one is very plumping um has a really gentle but fresh fragrance it's lovely i am not a hundred percent sure it's worth the price for me um the jury is still out on that. I'm using another moisturizer that I think is really good. Uh, so I would like to kind of maybe revisit this in the future, but I, I'm not sure it's worth it, but I, I use that all up. Next one is a hidden gem and you're not gonna believe it. This is the St. Moritz Tanning Mousse. Okay, I don't know if you can see it in the shade dark. I can't take any credit for this. One of my best friends, Rachel, she put me on to this. This is from Walmart. And this is like a knockoff St. Tropez, but I like this better. Um, I think it looks way more natural. It has a more like a brown undertone than an orange one in my opinion, or at least that's how it develops. I think that it washes off nicely, it's not very patchy, and it's a fraction of the cost. I think this is like $15, and then at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada, if you are to buy the St. Tropez, you're paying at least 40 bucks. So this is a great alternative. I only could find dark at my local Walmarts, all the medium was gone, but I actually would repurchase dark because I think it looked very natural you need to get this this is great especially going to the summer months when we're going to be very void of the sun this is a great way to look like you've just been on vacation okay next is ooh, the ultra repair cream by first aid beauty this is great all done um this is supposed to be really good for dry skin and I specifically get dry legs so I use this every day on my feet and my legs it is really nice I just don't know if it does better than some of the drugstore options and I I can't remember I know this is probably more than $30 I'll have everything linked down below but if you love this brand first aid beauty and you have really dry skin I think this comes in a smaller tub. You could try it and see if you like it. I mean, for me, it was great and it hydrated my skin, but 
wasn't more hydrating than cheaper things i don't really know another skincare product i used up was the pharmacy honey halo ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer one thing i have to say is i love this jar something so satisfying it's glass with the wood top i don't know very like asmr um it kind of has this honey smell which i don't know if i'm a huge fan of this was really nice also pricey i just i'm not sure if it was worth it or not i don't know why i am not able to tell about these moisturizers i think i'm looking for something that when i put it on in the morning and you know when i'm sitting down for dinner i want my skin to still feel hydrated and i don't know for me if either one of these really did that is that is that asking too much for the moisturizer like i want to feel like my skin is plump and moist all day like glass skin so if you have any suggestions on a moisturizer that makes your skin look like glass and feel hydrated and you know dewy all day put it down below because i am on the hunt next this is a great gift to buy someone else because i feel like people won't don't want to spend this money because it is so pricey but it is amazing this is the k18 i don't know where the lid is leave-in molecular hair repair mask okay this has changed the game for my hair i have never felt like my hair is healthier um, and more repaired this is supposed to completely bond your hair back together repair in real time um you start out by just you know you can use it i think twice a week and then kind of go down to once in a while um the idea is that you replace your conditioner so you sh shampoo your hair in the shower and then you come out, you put this on your ends, working it all the way to the roots, leave on for four minutes and then style, blow dry, like do whatever you want. And this, I just noticed such a difference, but it's so expensive. A larger bottle, which really isn't that much larger, is $80. This itself, this tiny bottle with only 15 milliliters which is 0.5 fluid ounces is $30 it is a splurge but it is worth it your hair will love it no matter what hair type how much damage you have like this is really going to repair your hair can't say enough good things the next thing I used up was this NYX professional makeup two-in-one liner and lash adhesive this was really nice. The only thing was once it kind of starts to dry out, which I guess is to be expected, um, it's the, it stops being really adhesive. The other thing I noticed is I used this with just like some half lashes and it worked amazing. They lasted all day, no lifting. And then I did use this with a heavier lash and I found it had a bit of a harder time keeping them on and it could have just been the weight. I think if you're just wearing like a little half lash or like a naked lash, like something really thin, this is a great option. But if you're going to do like a very full, very heavy lash, I would just stick with regular glue. I'm definitely going to repurchase this because it was much easier to wash uh, this off than the glue from adhesive. That stuff is a nightmare. I feel like I'm picking off glue for weeks. This swipe and you're done. So I did love this, but you probably have to replace this much sooner than you would your regular eyeliner. The rest are makeup products, starting with this one that I'm obsessed with. This is completely done. It has been a hot minute since I have finished an entire foundation. I couldn't tell you the last time that happened. I feel like I'm just kind of half using it and then I find something else. This one, it's so good. This is drugstore. This is the Rimmel. Um, this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Hydration Boost. It's full coverage, lightweight foundation, and I have the shade. 
oh no oh 103 true ivory this was a great match for me I loved how that it made my skin look I loved how it felt it didn't look cakey or heavy everything layered on really nicely I really enjoyed this I'm definitely repurchasing it is I don't know I have to me this performs like a luxury brand foundation it if you have dry skin I encourage you to try this I love it oh and you can't beat the price I think it's like $12 in Canada which is unheard of my last two products um, we have the telescopic lift the um, the very controversial mascara this is the one with kind of that funny wand where it's like flat on one side yeah I love this I'm actually on my second tube of this I got my mom onto it what I really love is it really lets you cake up your lashes so it kind of like puts all this like chunky mascara on and then you brush it out and like thin it out but it builds volume and length um it can get clumpy but i find that it's not like spider legs clumpy it just really adds almost like fibers i think i really like it the only thing i will say is i don't know if i accidentally picked up the waterproof one this time around but it i do find it a little bit difficult to get off i just think even with a good really even with a really good scrub, I still find a little bit of residue and it's not a flaky mascara, but once it starts to dry out, which I'm, I'm you know, is, a, is like a lot of mascaras, it will start to flake. So that's the only negative, but I, I really only have good things to say. The last thing I have, I think there's a little bit in here, but it's really hard to get out. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer obsessed obsessed I don't know if you've noticed I haven't really done a lot of makeup videos uh, in the last little while but I have really been enjoying drugstore stuff I would say probably 75% mm, of what I put on my face um, daily and even on special occasions is makeup from the drugstore I think that the drugstore is doing a phenomenal job the only thing that I don't like about the drugstore is the price is so similar to luxury. I don't find that there, you know, is a big price difference. Uh, this is $12, which isn't bad. I still think it's kind of high for e.l.f. and the drugstore, but I really like it. The next one I want to try is the pink one with the niacinamide. I think that would be really good, but I think that this makes my pores look really nice, gives my makeup a little more longevity, and overall I just love how it feels that stickiness i feel like it's like glue i don't know it's great that is everything that i have in my product empties from the last few months i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you think comment down below let me know if you've tried any of these products or what some of your favorite products are don't forget to hit that subscribe button i will see you again for another one bye